looking so good in my skinny jeans, my skinny jeans. My skinny jeans that I should have been wearing since 1998. I finally found my size and that's boys. Boys right off the box. Feel good, looking even better. Oh, I, you know what? You know what's gonna be fun tonight when I go out? When I go out later and I'm picking up each and every one of you ladies. All of them. Especially girls in heels. See up, girl. Mm. Double up. Uh, uh. Throw that ass so hot, turn it to sunshine. Feel myself. I haven't had a ton of time to be out lately, though. I've been recovering, okay? I've been recovering. Yes, they're inquisitively into my eyes. <laughs> That's Zach Burke, Z-A-C-K-B-U-R-K, 910 too soon. <laughs> I've been out lately, I'm, I'm just trying to see more, I'm just trying to make it the fuck home, okay? Look at this body! Look at this emaciated body! I'm like a lion, I'm an animal! <laughs> Like a malnourished slum. <laughs> Just kind of hanging on the bars. Come on, girl. Give this line a chance. <laughs> so, Maudie, I'm any more after the bars and mud boys? I mean, who's local up in here? Make some noise. Local, local, local. You know how hard it is in the streets? I got assaulted on the way home. <laughs> I'm just as shocked as you. Surprised they didn't have tents. <laughs> Scariest experience I've had since the last time I was assaulted, okay? It's happened twice, I'm two for two. I'm coming home, okay? I'm walking home on 6th. I won't even say, because who knows who's out here? You people. <laughs> coming home recently, and I, I don't have my wits about me. I've had all of the rum and cokes. All of them. Oh. The lack of rum. Four. <laughs> I didn't eat dinner, okay? It was a cheap date. Jeez. So I'm out there, I'm walking home, and, and I'm so close to my house. Ah, oh, I see it, I see it! The, the playground where like the, the homies are drinking, like the, the fellas are drinking. Like they're drinking on like a slide. Like one time I like to go to a playground and I got costed while I'm tipping back a 40. So they're, they're you know, jawing at me, jawing at me, and I walk past these guys. I walk past these guys, okay? I'm like, you know, sacking up, you know? I got this, I got this. Walking as big as I can. As big as I can. And I get, I get past those guys. I'm like tunnel vision, okay? I'm not good on my left side. All of a sudden, this guy just kind of jumps out of the bush. And this motherfucker right here, this, you know, enchanting guy here, okay, Mr. Fucking Personality, decides to entertain conversation with this stranger. Because I'm a nice guy. I'm an absolute idiot. But I'm a nice guy. And then we just start to get to talking, you know, this guy starts chatting me up like we go way back, okay? Like, we go way back to the two seconds ago when he jumped out of a fucking bush. <laughs> Let's bring it back. We go all the way back. You ducked and hide, and then you're up on me. He goes, hey, man, oh, those guys are giving you a hard time, aren't they? They're giving you a hard time. I'm like, yes, I am a compadre out here. This guy understands my plight. <laughs> I do declare, <laughs> Mr. Motorgob. And this guy, okay, okay, here's the part where it gets kind of unbelievable. As the scabs show on my arms. This guy, like, sticks out his hand, and I'm, like, talking with my hands, because I'm half, like, guinea Italian, I'm talking with my hands, I'm describing, like, 
why can't I get in the tube in the playground and like take shots? And like, what's my problem out here? And this guy like reaches out and he takes my. I shook this guy's hand, okay? I shook a stranger's hand past 2 a.m. What is absolutely wrong with me? Everything. And what I didn't notice is this guy has rubber gloves on. Yeah, rubber latex gloves. Who out at 2 a.m. has rubber gloves on? No one who's out there with good intentions. That's who. All right, you're not out there like rubbing grease off like, you know, oil slick doves and shit. in the papers. <laughs> and this guy go grabs my head and he pulls me in. Not by the crotch, by the heart. Uh, and he pulls me in and I'm like, okay, the lights turn on. I'm like, this guy's not gonna hug me. He's gonna hurt me. <laughs> so I like, look back. Whoa, I'm right, I'm riding my horse. I'm uh, back. He pulls me back in and then he gets me in the left eye in the face with pepper spray. And Damn, my boy, did that shit hurt. Oh my god, did that shit hurt. And I immediately go to code, like, black of safety. Like, okay, I, I went from, like, zero to code red of, oh! Like, bro, uh, guys, if you're hitting it right, that's the sound that you should be getting is, oh! From your lady. That's what's going on right now. And this guy runs away, okay? And I, I run in the house, I kick the door in, I dunk my head in the, in the sink, I'm trying to wash this off. Like, I had a whole, like, fucking experience. <laughs> and then I, I, I'm trying, I'm trying to alert everyone else in here, okay? All of you. The next day to a cop. You know what this fucking motherfucker said? Anyone cop in here? Good. Fuck you. <laughs> this motherfucker goes, hey, you know, you really should have reported that the night of, because you could have saved a lot of young women who were walking home alone. Well, who the fuck am I? <laughs> who am I? I'm sorry that I don't have a nice, like, B cup and a wet slit. What do you want from me, okay? I'm walking down here, I'm hung as a horse, but I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not blonde and busty and hot and ready for it. I'm sorry, you are I'm probably a darling. 